Halloween Horror Nights is going strong in both Orlando and Hollywood, but that doesn't mean there aren't more spooky happenings on the horizon when it comes to Universal destinations and experiences. As I record this video, Universal is actively building their newest expansion to HHN, but it has almost nothing to do with the event in Orlando or Hollywood. Universal Horror Unleashed is set to be a year-round HHN experience located in Las Vegas, Nevada, and while we know a few details about this upcoming location, there is still so much left to uncover. At this point, rumors are swirling about, surrounding what this location could look like, the haunted houses we could see there, and even a potential opening time frame. So in this video, I wanted to collect all of what is confirmed, as well as the strongest rumors thus far about Universal Horror Unleashed, to just talk in depth about what we could see when it comes to HHN in Sin City. For those who may not know, Universal is utilizing the success of both Orlando and Hollywood's Halloween Horror Nights to craft something all new for the company, a year-round haunt venue located in Las Vegas. This experience will occupy a 110,000 square foot building just next to Area 15, another highly themed space containing immersive art exhibits and mind-bending attractions. Speaking of attractions, we are set to see a variety of different spooky experiences as well as themed dining and retail within Horror Unleashed. And because this is a year-round horror experience, the individual offerings will change throughout the seasons. While we don't have any official confirmation for the different IPs and original concepts present at Horror Unleashed, Universal seems to be mixing together iconic horror properties like their classic Monsters, the library of Blumhouse Productions, and the films of Jordan Peele, just to name a few. And really, that's all we officially know about Horror Unleashed in fall of 2024, which honestly isn't a lot. However, there are some pretty strong rumors and theories about what different experiences we could see here, what their themes could be, and when it could be opening, and I think it lays a very interesting foundation for what this experience could look like. And I just want to say before we get into any of the details that everything from here on out is rumor and speculation. These are just my interpretations based on what we're hearing from the rumor mill. So with that being said, don't get married to any of these ideas. We're just here to throw out ideas, have fun, talk about what we could see at Horror Unleashed. This is just the first bit of speculation, so it can and very likely will change before we see the final product. Recently, we got our first speculation map from Horror Night Nightmares surrounding Horror Unleashed. They put out these speculation maps every single year. If you're familiar with my channel, you probably know what I'm talking about. And they're usually pretty accurate when predicting houses, scare zones, and live entertainment. Now, overall, looking at the speculation map, we have four haunted houses, a tribute store, and an entertainment hub. Now, considering that this is not a full-scale theme park with different locations for haunted houses, it makes sense that we only have four houses listed here. It seems like the entirety of the Horror Unleashed experience is going to take place inside of this one building, which is quite big when compared to most of the haunted house locations in both Orlando and Hollywood. So I do think they will be able to deliver with these four houses when it comes to the scale that is signature to HHN. Based on this speculation map, as well as another map by Orlando Park Stop, it seems like we're going to be entering the Horror Unleashed building right next to the Tribute Store, and each of the haunted houses will be roughly placed in the four corners of the building, with the middle section being used as an entertainment hub. This layout has been present across the internet for some time, so the layout isn't all too surprising. The new information comes with some of these symbols that are used to represent potential themes for the haunted houses. Starting off with the top left corner, we have an image of a Scarecrow, making me think that we're going to be seeing the return of Scarecrow the Reaping at Horror Unleashed. Now for those who don't know, Scarecrow the Reaping is a fan favorite original haunted house that first debuted at Halloween Horror Nights Orlando back in 2017, and was so successful that they brought it over to the West Coast Universal Studios Hollywood in 2022. It also returned to Orlando in the form of a Scare Zone Scarecrow Cursed Soil back in 2022 as well. This house was a huge success on both coasts, being praised for its intensity as well as unique set design. So I would not be surprised at all if they wanted Scarecrow the Reaping to represent original storytelling at Horror Unleashed. There are plenty of originals they could have pulled from to bring over to Horror Unleashed, but Scarecrow the Reaping also brings a simple concept that both old fans and new fans can latch onto. 
Moving just below Scarecrow, we have an image of a pumpkin, a jack-o'-lantern, and what holiday are jack-o'-lanterns most commonly associated with? I'm talking about Halloween. For the past decade, Halloween and Michael Myers have become a staple of Halloween Horror Nights. They've done houses based off the original John Carpenter classic, Halloween 2 and Halloween 4. And every time, it is a smash hit, drawing up some of the longest wait times at any given event. I also think it could fulfill that slasher trend from Halloween Horror Nights over to Horror Unleashed. Every year, it seems like they have some sort of slasher, whether that's an IP or original slasher, featured at the event. However, will this be a copy and paste of the original Halloween movie? We've done that movie so many times at the event before. I don't think they would go for any of the sequels unless it's just a giant mashup house of all of Michael Myers' appearances. They did that this year with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre over in Hollywood, so who's to say they don't do that with Michael? Or maybe this could be the Blumhouse trilogy that we've never seen at Halloween Horror Nights before. And they did mention they wanted to incorporate Blumhouse into Universal Horror Unleashed, so maybe this could be their representation of Blumhouse at least early on. Either way though, I think Halloween is the perfect franchise to incorporate at Universal Horror Unleashed. It's classic and timeless at the same time. And again, a huge crowd pleaser. So I think this one would do really well if they brought it over to Vegas. Speaking of another crowd pleaser IP, we're going to pop over to the top right corner and talk about this image here, which clearly looks like the head of Frankenstein's monster. The Universal monsters are iconic. They're an iconic part of Universal Pictures history, as well as HHN history. They've been with the event since the beginning, and over the past six years, we've seen them pretty much rebooted in the best way possible delivering hit after hit after hit when it comes to houses at Halloween Horror Nights. The Universal Monsters operate in a fun gray area because yes, they are based on those original movie monsters of the 30s and 40s, but they are done in a way that brings original stories to life with all new characters. I think they're a staple at Halloween Horror Nights, and I think the success of them at Halloween Horror Nights plus the new Dark Universe land at Epic Universe could reignite interest in these characters for newcomers. Add in the fact that this is an in-house IP where Universal has complete and total control of these characters and how they're represented, plus the Universal monsters were mentioned in that original release as IP they wanted to incorporate at Horror Unleashed. I think if you add that all together, it's clear to see that the Universal monsters will play some sort of role. Which Universal Monsters could we see? We see the head of Frankenstein's monster, and Frankenstein's monster is probably the most iconic Universal Monster, but I honestly could see this being a big mashup house like we saw in 2018 in Hollywood and 2019 in Orlando. A house that brings together all the classic monsters from Frankenstein's monster, the Bride of Frankenstein, Dracula, the Wolfman, the Mummy, the list goes on and on. I've talked about the Universal Monsters plenty on this channel before. You know I love the Universal Monsters so much, so I'm of course down any time they appear at Halloween Horror Nights, or in this case, Horror Unleashed. But just like Halloween, I think this is a very likely candidate for an IP we will see at Horror Unleashed. Something classic yet timeless and a huge fan favorite. Going down to the bottom right corner though, to the final IP, we see what looks to be a priest holding a cross. And when it comes to religious horror, no film is more iconic than The Exorcist. The Exorcist and Halloween Horror Nights have a more recent history than some of the other IPs I've mentioned thus far. The original 1973 classic got a haunted house in both Orlando and Hollywood back in 2016. That haunted house returned to Halloween Horror Nights Hollywood in 2021. And the Exorcist Believer Legacy sequel, 50 years after the original, got a haunted house in both Orlando and Hollywood just last year in 2023. Both versions mixed intense scares with sensory storytelling, and both them were pretty successful at the end of the day. Not sure if they were to be going for the original Exorcist film, maybe The Exorcist Believer, although that film's reception hasn't been that great, or maybe they want to tap into the upcoming Mike Flanagan Exorcist film, doing what they did with Exorcist Believer, maybe having a preview of that movie through the Halloween Horror Nights Haunted House format. It could be that throwback IP they're looking for if they were to go with the original, or maybe that new modern horror IP if they were to go with one of the new ones. 
Moving on to the other offerings, we do have a tribute store listed here. The tribute stores began in 2015 to celebrate Halloween Horror Nights Orlando's 25th anniversary. Every year, I feel like the tribute store gets more popular and they've even grown beyond HHN, with tribute stores themed to the winter holidays, Mardi Gras, and summer blockbusters. Overall, I think it is one of the most successful recent HHN additions and has been attempted on the West Coast, although they haven't been able to nail it quite right yet. That being said though, it makes sense that they want to bring the tribute store over to Horror Unleashed. Finally, let's talk about the dining slash entertainment hub. This is the most ambiguous offering by far. We just know that this is the middle area of the complex and it's going to have spooky things and that's about it. Themed food is big when it comes to Halloween Horror Nights, so it makes sense that they're going all in on the themed food at Horror Unleashed. Maybe we have a specific restaurant, or maybe we have little food tents scattered around like they do here in Orlando. I'm sure they'll have the staples like the Blinky Cup drinks, pizza fries, and Twisted Taters. And then there's the question about scare zones. Is this one large scare zone? Are these roaming characters? Are we doing something like character dining, where you have characters interacting with you as you eat and drink? I don't know, I think this is really cool. I think this could be the most unique part of Horror Unleashed. So let me know down in the comments, what would you like to see for this entertainment hub? Would you want to see like one big restaurant, like character dining style? Would you like to see just a huge scare zone with food tents in the middle? I don't know, go crazy in the comments. I really want to hear what y'all think about this entertainment hub and what you think it could look like. Finally, there's the big question. When does Horror Unleashed open? Right off the bat, rumors are pointing towards a 2025 opening for Horror Unleashed. Now, construction is currently underway for this experience. They're actually working on the exterior structure as we speak. And while it doesn't look really that far along, I think the bulk of the construction time for this project is going to be getting that infrastructure down. This is going in an all new lot. So when you build a new building, it's going to take a little bit of time to set everything up. When it comes to 2025, though, we have the big elephant in the room, and that is Epic Universe. Epic Universe is Universal's brand new theme park in the Orlando area, you've probably heard about it, and that's taking top priority over anything else. This is pretty minor compared to Epic Universe. While we don't know a confirmed date for Epic Universe, we do know that it is opening sometime in 2025. A lot of folks have been suggesting that it's going to be in spring or summer. So if that is the case, I do think they're going to want to open Epic Universe first, get the ball rolling with that new theme park, and then to keep the hype going and also not be overshadowed by Epic Universe's opening, they'll open Horror Unleashed. And if Epic Universe opens in spring or summer of next year, that would lead us directly into fall of 2025, which would be a good time to open a Halloween horror themed experience. That way you could have Halloween Horror Nights on the East Coast, West Coast, and have Horror Unleashed opening all around the same time. Would be great for Universal, but not be great for my wallet, I'll tell you that. I don't know, I'm just spitballing though. I do think Horror Unleashed will open sometime next year. January 11th, 2025, which is one day after my birthday, marks two years since the initial Horror Unleashed announcement was made. So it would make sense for them beginning January or February of next year to start the rollout for Horror Unleashed officially. But again, this is all speculation. What I really want to talk about finally is kind of why all of this matters. Because I think there are some interesting patterns as to what we're seeing speculated for Horror Unleashed that can kind of lead us in the direction as to what we could be seeing when this experience finally opens. For one, all of these concepts, properties, IPs, originals are all returning or in-house. We've seen Scarecrow the Reaping before, we've seen The Exorcist before, we've seen Halloween before, and of course we've seen the Universal Monsters. There are no external IPs, nothing really outside of Universal's wheelhouse. And I think they're doing this on purpose. I think it does lower the initial risk of this experience because this experience is all new. I think Horror Unleashed is going to be successful initially just because of the curiosity surrounding it, because it's all new. But the longevity is what's going to matter for this project, and year-round haunts don't exactly have the best reputation. For Halloween Horror Nights, it's only a couple months out of the year, and they could use that time scarcity to increase demand, whether that's for the attractions themselves, food, merchandise. It's also limited because it changes year in and year out, so you feel inclined to go spend money on a ticket, go spend money on food, go spend money on merchandise. With Horror Unleashed, it's around all the time. 
time. So how do you encourage people, especially those who have been to Halloween Horror Nights before, to make that trip and experience Horror Unleashed? I think if they open with known, successful, fan favorite properties and ideas, they're already starting on the right track to potentially do some more riskier changes, new additions, and things like that in the future. I also think this doesn't take away too much from the individual HHN events. I don't see this as replacing Halloween Horror Nights, I see this as being a bite-sized version of the Halloween Horror Nights events on both coasts. Obviously, in both Orlando and Hollywood, you have a whole theme park, eight to 10 houses, four to five scare zones, so much stuff to do. And this is just, I think, a little teaser as to what you get at Halloween Horror Nights if you maybe don't have access to Orlando or Hollywood, or maybe it's your first time experiencing something Halloween Horror Nights related. So in that way, I think it could work. I think appealing to a wider audience than just the HHN superfans can really do well to draw more attention to Horror Unleashed but on the other hand, there is still the worry because it is a year-round haunt. Year-round haunts don't normally do that great. Because of that, I could see this experience having the potential of losing steam after the initial hype dies down. Or it could be a smash hit. Halloween Horror Nights is very, very popular, and for those of us who want to get it any time of the year, it's going to be there for us. As well as those who are just visiting Las Vegas, I think this could become a fundamental part of the Las Vegas tourist experience, a lot like Area 15 has in recent years. And I would like it to be that. I want this to be successful because I really like this concept and I want them to feel motivated to keep adding to it and changing it, giving more reasons for someone like myself who does not live near Las Vegas to keep making a trip back out there. But that's just my opinion. I want to know down in the comments below, based on what we're hearing about Horror Unleashed, the speculated properties, the houses, everything like that, will you be going to Universal Horror Unleashed when it opens? Let me know all your thoughts about Horror Unleashed down in the comments below. I really want to have an interesting conversation about this expansion because it is so weird and there's so much that we don't know about it. If you like videos like this about Halloween Horror Nights, Horror Unleashed, Universal of the past, present, and future, be sure to let me know by leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. Let's know you like videos like this one and you want me to make more of them. I want to thank y'all for the patience. I know I've been gone for a couple weeks now, mostly been trying to get some life stuff together as well as just trying to enjoy Halloween Horror Nights 33. And I just want to thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, commenting, coming up to me in the parks during HHN. You know who you are. But anyways, I want to thank you all for watching this video one last time. I will of course see you in the next one, but until then stay spooky and take care, everybody.